Welcome to Factorio Masterclass. My name is Nilaus. This is the series of tutorials and guides here on YouTube covering all aspects of the game and aims to provide insights and resources to help you improve. And this uh, tutorial is kind of a breakout from uh, the stuff that I've been working on because uh, there has been a lot of demand, particularly on my Twitch series, for a module build. So I think that it's time for us to really build a good module build. And uh, as I said, this comes from uh, demand over on my Twitch channel, and uh, I'm streaming uh, live on Twitch six nights a week at 8 p.m. Central European time, and you're very welcome to drop by. The address is twitch.tv slash Nilaus, and I'm playing Factorio about half the time on Tuesday, Thursdays, and Sundays, but other interesting games the other nights. So if you have uh, ideas, comments, feedbacks, drop on by, leave a comment below, or join the Discord to uh, discuss and exchange ideas. Let's dive into the design. And let's take a look at the design. So let's start by talking about the reason why we want to do this. And the reason is that when you get to the late game, once you've launched your first 100 rockets and you really want to scale up to launch thousands of rockets, you need to start working on what we call a mega base. And in order to build a mega base, you will be constrained by two things and only two things. One is power and the other one is modules. Those are the two things that will constrain the growth of your mega base until you reach a point where your PC or server cannot keep up. But for the until then, you are going to be constrained by the amount of modules you have available for the builds you need. So what we need to do is we want to make a really good module build that you can use in uh, for your mega base. And let's uh, let's take a look at let's take a look at the actual recipes first. So the recipes they are really simple. Take some green and red circuits in on a 15 minute cycle, 15 second cycle. And this one is on a 30 second cycle, but it takes four of those. So you basically need two Mark 1s for one Mark 2. And it now needs red circuits and blue circuits. And this was on a 60 second cycle, but it then takes five productivity. If it was four productivity, it would be two, uh, four, two, one, but it's not. So it's more like, one, two and a half, five, the ideal ratio. Which means that if we want to do an ideal ratio, we can also just, uh, one of the things that I want to see is, uh, um, we want to m see this part, yes. We're gonna use the mod max rate calculator to get some metrics on how we're doing. Here you will see, let's make, explain it because we are gonna use this one heavily to balance things out in this uh, setup. Here we have the inputs. This is the, all of the inputs required for all these machines to run at 100%. This is all the machines, what they're outputting if they're running 100%. Now, if there is a number here with the net rate, if it's a negative number, that means I am not gonna, getting enough inputs to provide all the outputs. In this case, we don't have enough of the Mark II modules in order to keep this one flowing all the time. And that's because the ratio is not two to one to a half, it's one to two and a half to five. So if we now try to find that balance, that ratio here, here, and then I do it again, and we'll see now that we have a perfect ratio of five mark, 10 mark ones, five mark twos, and two mark five, mark threes. Ah. Lots of numbers. And another thing that is of very important is that the recipes or the recipe ratios for speed modules, efficiency modules, and productivity modules are exactly the same. So when we design it for productivity modules, it's simply a matter of stamping it down and then you'll have it exactly for your, for the other ones as well, and just change the recipes. Now let's start looking at the numbers. We are again using max rate calculator. We are getting here. You can see that with this build, we have five 0.4 red circuits per second, and that's more than the green and more than the blue. So our constraint here will be, will be or what our design criteria will be, design this so that it consumes a fully compressed red belt. Because that will, that's a big, that's as big as we can build one unit of this. And if you want more, you can just build more units and know that you need to feed a full lane of red circuits into each lane in order for it to be happy. So that's our objective. So we definitely need to make this a lot faster. Now the first and simplest way to make things faster is just throw modules at it. There, and now you can start seeing why you need so many modules in the end game. Let's do another metric here. So at this point, we are getting the 
chilling realization that this one will only make 16 point or consume 16.25 so we need to make make it actually three times as fast as it is now and that's where modules come in so the next step is taking this build and making it into a more of a module build and for that to happen we are going to need some modules let's build out down here that's a good batch of modules there i'm going to take two rows of that and the middle row was just to align it so what we want to do now is we want to take these items at the perfect ratio and just put them in here and then see how fast that becomes So we, oops, so we cut things out, cut things out and put it in, cut things out and put it in, cut things out. That's kind of silly. Because this one is not correct. These are Mark 2s and 10 Mark 1, 5 Mark 2, that one goes in here. All right, so now that this is built, let's see what the ratio is. We have now come to the, again, the realization that this is still not enough. Well, we still need to scale it up if we want to make sure that it consumes a full blue belt of red circuits. And uh, the ratio stays the same, so that's good. I don't know what, that's just a little rounding thing. And now, now how do we scale this up? Well, my suggestion would be We're just going to take two more of these there, and then we are going to take these two. Move a bit over, and then take one more Mark II. So now we have 12 Mark ones and six Mark II, and not enough Mark III. Let's build one more like this. Let's give a measure on this one. So now we are above the 45, that's not good. The ratio here is still good. And the ratio here is, this means that between Mark 1s and Mark 2, the ratio is fine. But we do not have enough, we do not have enough Mark 2s to keep this happy. All right, so we need to start scaling things down somehow. And I'll take this one down. And what if I also take this one down? And now it'll be, we'll do again. We're getting closer to the 45 per second. Now we have a slight underproduction of Mark 1s because this one is demanding too much. And I can just take one of these out. And that should be the same as taking, taking that out. Let's see. There. Now the ratio between my Mark 1 and my Mark 2, or Tier 1, Tier 2, is perfect. We're still very, very close. And however, we have too much demand for Mark II compared to what we actually are producing, which fits with we also consuming too much. So we just need to scale this one down by a bit. If we do that one, let's see if what it looks like at this point. There, now it's 0 0.042 is off. That's not much. And it's at a very, very round 45 per second. And it mean, this means that everything will be consumed. And the last one, this one will be ever so slightly starved once in a while. So this is going to be our design criteria. And now we all we need to do is just make a design that actually services this. And that's not going to be so easy though. Before going into all of the spaghetti with the belts to make this work because it's not going to be super simple i'll just like to take a moment to thank the patreon supporters who are supporting the channel it wouldn't be possible for me to continue to make videos like this and let's plays and streams and all that without the very generous support from the patreon supporters so thank you very much for that if you want to support there's of course no obligation but if you want to support there is a link in the description below and the best way to support the channel is through patreon so thank you very much let's get back to the design now, in order for us to make the design, let's start by making some assumptions. The first thing here, we're going to deal with only the first part. This one is going to use a lot of the red circuits and a lot of green circuits, actually an equal amount. So what we need is a basically a full lane in and a full lane out 
our full lane of each. So ideally we would want to say, and I have to remember my promise. Let's get this one, make it red. There. And green there. So here we are. Uh, this all looks good, but we don't have any way to export it because those are fine taking it in. Therefore, we're going to do one of the, my new favorite tricks. There. That means I can take inbound, inbound, outbound, outbound, inbound, inbound. Now, at this point, I am completely ignoring the power poles. I have some magical power poles somewhere there that covers everything because I feel that in most cases, power poles is something you can do at the end. It might not be possible to make the belts work, but if you get the belts to work, it's it's not going to be a problem getting the substations in or normal circuits in or normal uh, power poles. But this, so that's why I'm, I'm ignoring it. And that's something we do at the end. So, so far, so good. This, uh, this pattern seems reasonable. I can copy it. Nope, not like that. And there. And we don't need any for the Mark II. We don't need any green circuits. So green circuits will stay there and not go any further. Well, now I have what I need on this belt. And that's going to be really difficult to get out because I still want this one to keep going. So what I'd want to do is actually take this. And if I move it by one, then it aligns it aligns perfectly with the module with modules. And if it does that, then I get one less, two less modules for each. So it has to be moved by two tiles. That of course also means that I need to extend this because now I will have the option to take this out and take it down here. Because down here, I, I now need to have blue process and blue circuits, processing units. And they, I don't need so many of those. So I can just take Maybe one of these. Hey, symmetry is important. That one. And I'm going to put some blue here. Only on the lower side. I don't need very much. I need like, how much was it? 10 per second. So that's easily able to put in on half a belt. So that one can go in here. And now I want to get that one over. So again, we're going to look at basically the same here. Oops, don't take that. There, there, there. You're gonna go in. You're gonna be happy as well. You go all the way up to this location. And wonder why I took that middle one. Hmm. Well, for some reason, that's the one I, I chose. Either one will work. And now we get exactly the same problem as before. This one can now, if I move it by one, it's okay. If I move it by two, it's not okay. Then I have to move it by three. And I'd like to not move it by more than one. So if I make it by one, then everything is still, if we still test, we still test this one. Everything is still the same. So same amount of modules affecting. But my issue is, how am I gonna get this one down there? And that's actually turns out not to be possible unless I do, I take this one and just slide it a bit. And it's still gonna work because I can still jump from here, go into that. And now I can take this down here. And then the question just becomes, how do I want to do this? I will do just a filter that and there we go and I will still also be building I think I'll just be built this one boom look at the density of this how closely packed it is and this one has to be here because if I do that then the curve the yeah, it's not going to be on the same side. And let's see, we are then going to take one, two, and three. Once they're going out, and then we should be able to see something coming out. 
eventually they are on the 60 second cycle now at this point there we go we are getting some what is really important about this is that it is so tempting just to put more modules here and beacons but you're not going to get more out of it because now it is constrained by the fact that this one is continuously moving you can see it never stops moving this one doesn't move all the time that's to be expected this one doesn't move all the time i'm only using 35 out of the 45 on this belt i'm only using 10 of the 22.5 on this belt but here i'm using 45 out of 45 and that will continue to be be done and this one will stutter like one per minute or something like that something trivial and that's it so this is the minimum number of beacons and modules you can do to build this one and it has a nice modular design but we're not quite done yet are we we're not quite done because we also need to figure out how to do power poles and in a meaningful way and i'd like to sort of build it down here and just get a sense of where it would fit like that one would fit um, if you do it like a maximum distance we can just see if there's no way that we can do less than four so let's just take four and be make it nice that one fits there that one can fit there and this one can fit maybe there that's easy and this one can fit here yep so let's try doing that jump these two going that one and the last one there so now there's only one thing missing that's an important thing but it's still the only thing missing mm, do I like this better yeah I don't know I like it better because then I can put a put that one here. That one, that one, that one, that one. Yeah. So that's kind of symmetric. These are same distance, this is the same distance, this is kind of same distance, and this one's also kind of the same distance. Cool. And it should work. Except that one. There. So what we have now is a complete build. It is, we're going to check it one more time. There we go. We're going to check it. Exactly 45 being consumed. And there's a slight undersupply of, uh, of Mark II modules. But if I take, if I just take one of these out and then see the result, it's going to be a slight overproduction. And then we're not really. So at this point, I'm like, yeah, you know what? I'd just like to use the list 0 0.054 resources. And in order to do that, I put that in here and now I'm sure that everything will consume the full belt, the full belt of red circuits. So there, this is it. And what I'd want to show you is how easy it is to make the other ones. You simply just stamp it down and it ties perfectly. What I'm going to do here is I will get that one. There. And if you for absolutely unknown reasons would want to build efficiency modules in these vast quantities, then uh, that's also an option. And it's easy enough to migrate there. Now we have, and what you <laughs> should be mindful of is, even with all of this, you're only still producing three per, uh, one every three seconds. So on a minute basis, yeah, you make 21 per minute, which is nice. It's a really, really nice build, but this will be your your limiter of your your base building once you've launched the first rockets. That's going to be it. So with, the, with that build, I have now solved that problem that I know I have no idea how many people have been asking for it. Maybe it's just one person who has been asking for it, but has been asking it repeatedly, both on YouTube comments, on Discord, and on uh, Twitch. Anyway, well done you. Now I've done it. <laughs> and uh, I hope that you uh, are enjoying this. I hope that you can will find it useful for your own mega base building. It does need a lot of <laughs> red circuits to supply, and you can build as many as you, you want. If you want to see this in action, I'm going to add this to my Twitch series tonight even. So 
Uh, if you want to join, then it's on Twitch TV slash Nilos, and I am playing Factorio Let's Play every Tuesday, Thursdays, and Sundays. So you're very welcome to drop by and uh, yell at me for not having implemented this yet. And uh, if you want to just see more, just join the Discord, watch the channel, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It's still about only half the people watching the channel who are subscribed. So uh, if you do not have the subscribe button, if the subscribe button is not, I don't know, toggle that to subscribe button. Toggle it. It's a toggle. So hit it, and then uh, I'll see you guys next time. Leave some comments below if uh, for what you want me to build in the next uh, Masterclass videos, and I will see you either on Twitch, here on YouTube, or on Discord, or maybe even on Twitter. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay effective. <laughs>